All right, hi guys, welcome to Live Pour. It's a video of me creating some paintings. It's gonna be kind of a tutorial, but mostly just me making paintings. I'm not very good at teaching people how to do this because it's mostly something I just randomly started doing. But as you can see, I have two canvases, I have two strainers. That's the pour method where you, uh, you make all the art, supplies, all the paint, pour them into cups and then layer them. Uh, and to get the right consistency, you could add something called a, uh, a pouring medium. This one's right here. It's pretty much done. So I'm actually gonna use something different today. I'm gonna be using a little bit of water. I just bought this little acrylic paint set where basically gonna use most of them. It was like six bucks at uh, the store. I'm gonna be using most of them for this art project right now. So it's good to wear gloves, keeps it reduced mess. Uh, I have this little box that I paint most of my paintings with. And I also, today, I'm gonna to be drinking a Mike Hess beer. It's gonna be a J Money. J Money Brown. Brown ale, really tasty. One of my favorites, they don't have it year round. They just came out with it this recent, like a couple months. And uh, I like it a lot. So that's my choice today. Pour all that yellow. Beautiful, bright yellow. Okay. Do some green, make it like a Christmassy light color combo. Whoop, that was not meant to be. Clearly, it's a messy process of making paints. Oops. Okay. Unfortunate. Let's see. Get rid of this. Let's see. I'll do yellow first. It's really, really wet right now. I'm going to blend in some thicker materials like some white. You definitely want to make sure you have enough paint for the full project, half, at least before you start the pouring method, so that you can like blend it in without it drying. Usually you probably want an individual stick per color. Right now I'm kind of just using a brush and mixing net one to the next to the next. It's not the best method, it's definitely not recommended actually. Some pink in this red. Really vibrant enough. Yeah, that's looking good. Good and chunky. Let's get some black in one of these. A little dark, dark mixture in that. Still mostly black, that's good. There's no rhyme or reason with the way I do the paintings. 
no specific kind of like pattern necessarily. This is a little more splatter. I normally don't do that, but so let's start with a base of pink. This one will have yellow. See, it's a little too thick now. Oop, that was too thin. It's kind of like sherbet colors, actually. So just kind of let it droop over. And just kind of bleed upon each other. droopy. I even have it droop onto the other painting. It's a cool look. Trying to get that last little edge. There you go. Shake it up a bit. If it doesn't fully cover at all, you're going to want to get the corners with some of the leftover drip. And then you create some pretty cool little splatches, 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 splooches. Okay. Just move it a little bit to create a uniform look to it. Okay, so, oh, oh, I got some on my hands, looks a daisy. Okay, I'll clean my hands. Yeah, this next part's kind of cool, actually. You get a little torch, a little cheap one from the store, and then you light it up. It creates this really sweet bubbling pattern. All it takes is just a little light glazing over it. Trying to figure out that corner. You gotta want to make sure you get all the edges. Otherwise, you have to do a touch-up that could be not quite the way you want it to look. All right, so as you can see, it's creating a sweet bubble effect. And the thing about that bubbling effect, you don't want to do too much of it because it'll end up continuing to bubble after the fact and then create gaps in the painting. Because then you have to paint over, ideally to make it look uniform. And that is the pretty simple way to create some cool art pretty quickly. Now, time to celebrate this painting with a little bit of a J Money Brown, really tasty brown ale from My Cast Brewing. We started like nine, 10 years ago over in San Diego, California. They have a pretty decent following online. They have a high quality like lineup of beers. This one's one of their newer ones. It's a uh, pretty recent and pretty tasty. So on the lighter side, it's a 4.9% ABV. So it's not too strong, not too light. And I just realized 
downfall of painting the way I do. You get splatter marks on your wall. Luckily, the water-based paint that'll come right off if you get it early enough. Which is what I'm doing right now to prevent having to deal with this later. Cause like, whoopsie, what is this? really don't care about the table because it's my table. I can make a mess that I want. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty simple way to do it. I also tend to overdo it with the glitter. I'm gonna add a little right now. Cause like glitter is like fucking adorable as fuck. Look at that, bam, splash. Voila, this is a pretty simple way to make a painting and the finished product will be shown like in a day or two because it has to fully dry and fully like bubble out and create all those effects so i'm not sure what i'm going to call these yet but as you can see it's a pretty simple process pretty quick to do it and regarding this beer i'd probably say it's like a seven out of ten regarding uh my rating even though it's totally arbitrary but i'm a big fan of darker beers so this jay money's right up my alley uh this is in a prowler can it's a 32 ounce can uh it's tasty it's pretty cheap if you go down to any of the mike hess's if they have it on draft they can put it in this can because they don't do it in normal like 12 ounce cans like six packs they do it in uh, prowlers and i think it's like 12 bucks uh, so it's pretty cheap, pretty easy, and a nice, smooth drinking beer. Or you could just buy it on draft at any other, like, five locations. I don't really have a lot of experience in describing beers, uh, even though I work at a brewery. So at some point, I'll write up a bio and a description in the, in the um, description of the video and also the post I'm going to have talking about this particular beer to give you more of an update and right now, let's take this. Okay. And then show off a little bit of this painting and a little more details. And then when it's fully dry, I'll take some pictures and post them online. Cool. Yeah. Hopefully uh, you like this tutorial. And it's not really a tutorial. It's more just me making a, uh, a video of how I do the painting. Yeah. Enjoy.